Hello everyone and welcome. It's Keeper MC and we continue our survival on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, 2b2t.org. And as you can see, I am still in the nether, still trying to go back because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, when I died and respawned, I haven't had my point set inside the village, but it was still the respawn anchor in the nether, so now I'm forced to travel approximately 50,000 blocks through the nether and, well, it might be nothing in case if you are having a highway under your feet, but I do not have such and the closest highway is probably like a few hundred uh, thousands of blocks away from me, so this is a pure nether survival, I would say. It slowly, it does slowly move forward, and uh, if originally I was planning to actually escape and like go go to the highway and then go back to to the temp village and stuff, then at this moment I actually decided that hey, from the trade you already got six pieces of obsidian, maybe I could be lucky enough to get. 10 pieces and build a portal because uh, I already have some iron nuggets from the same trades and uh, from my chest near the anchor I took a whole stack of flints lucky I would say but uh, luckily but yeah I mean still need four pieces of obsidian and these guys of course are not giving them up quick yeah you could not imagine how many trades have I already done with these guys and they all give me sorts of trash I wouldn't say it's like not enough or anything but yeah 7 out of 10 already in my pocket And I hope that I would not die just because I started the recording, because yeah, when I start recording the video usually I'm losing the focus. So yeah, hopefully this is not the case. And I will succeed, because yeah, I'm still having thousands and thousands of blocks ahead of me. And this is how you save on your pickaxe durability. Guys, get the... <clears throat> Thanks. Okay, finally some open space. Oh, yeah, the soul speed scares me. I'm pretty sure that one day I will forget that I have it on my, like, boots and will accidentally speed run into the lava. You can totally remember my words. That's something that's gonna happen with 100% probability. Ah, oh, of course. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I, I found two diamonds in the previous bastion. So maybe we'll find another one and we'll make a pickaxe. pieces of obsidian nope nope what I already 
already have one. Actually, I don't need the second speed. Yes, we got one. So it's eight. I wonder if we can actually make a portal out of the like eight pieces. But sadly, I won't be able to try it because I won't be able to break obsidian then. I do not have a pickaxe. Another one. Let's go. One more. Even though it's gonna be like eight times more into the overworld, I'd still better go back home there, not through the nether, because in the nether I'm pretty sure I will die. direction should I go? Mm -hmm. And yeah, don't mind me, I'm just bored, so I try to encapsulate some lava. Because why not? Just one piece of obsidian, please. Oh wait, we already have ten. <laughs> okay. Oh, finally. <clears throat> but okay, let's wait for the trade to be done. Now we have 11. Last, I'm a fast boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm always forgetting that ghasts are super good at spawning over the soil. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Just need to watch out. To not to shut down some ow more pigmen because otherwise they're gonna finish me. Let's go, shields up. Oh, it was so silent. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, does not look like that we are deep enough to have an ancient city around us, because there is not even a deep slate, just a stone. But hey, easier to get out of here. <sighs> Finally out. Yeah, it's funny how it works in Minecraft. Each time you are spending like a lot of your time in the overworld, you're getting like super bored of it. It seems so blank and like not interesting. Then you spend some time in the nether, which suddenly feels amazing. Lots of colors, especially new biomes, and it's all like super amazing and juicy. And then you go back into the overworld and the overworld also seems to be so juicy and colorful and everything is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how they do this, but this contrast always feels so good. Oh, oh no. 
I am an idiot. You cannot mine gold with the <laughs> stone pickaxe. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I decided to make my own bed to not to disturb anyone. And since the night is already falling, to make my spawn point. And then probably I will head away from here. Because my loot is waiting somewhere on the ground. Hey, this is my bed. Get the hell out of here. Uh, so yeah, need to make myself a sword. Oh wow, I did 14 crafting tables. Perfect. Not sure when that has happened, but uh, I don't have enough sticks to actually make the sword. And the rain has started. Ah, congratulations, Keep. This is how natural disaster is going to unfold. And I have honestly no idea if there is anything I could do. Yeah, because how do you even predict when the lava is gonna land? Like, not when, but where. Would you look at that? I nailed it! <laughs> oh wow. I saved some forest. Probably not all of it, because I think the lava has split in two streams. But let's see if there is anything else we could do. Oh no! Oh wow. Oh, well, that's a success. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we did found a Titanic. <laughs> Very strangely looking one. But let's see. actually need that because I need a new pickaxe so we take that what's about this section okay I guess that's it and yeah let's take the crafting table back Nothing too cool, because maps are still not working. Oh no. <laughs> Guess who's gonna get a fatigue? Yep, 
Yep. Naturally generated pair of scissors. <laughs> but yeah, I'm slowly starting to regret the fact that I uh, escaped Nether so quickly. Probably I should simply travel a few thousands of blocks more and then, I don't know, maybe exit on a highway or something because that's ridiculous. Even though that's how it was back in the days when we were having a server on 1.12 still and there was only oceans around you, so that's how we were traveling, so kinda fine, kinda annoying, but still at last it's safe. Okay. That looks cool. A village with a small cave. We can probably stay in for the night. And this super suspiciously looks like a player activity, but it does not. Oh no, 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 no. Why you're so fast? And yeah, <clears throat> server managed to lag once again, so I've been running in the middle of the field and suddenly hit like, I don't know, seven times by the zombie wielding a sword and I die without seeing any zombies around me. Then of course I got disconnected and kicked and after the reconnect we are approximately 5k away from that location. So I will wait up for the night to get over, we'll get some food and well... We'll run back. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> really? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, come on. What's up with that spawn? I mean, lots of monsters is cool, but why all of those epic ones? Tridents, baby zombies, you name it. Decent challenge, that's what we wanted. up some space because I haven't collected everything. Oh wow. Okay. Whew. I guess we got it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm collecting all the necessary stuff only. But I don't care at this moment. I'm just happy I made it. And that this time nothing has disappeared, including the pickaxe and sword. As you remember last time in the nether, it wasn't so successful. But I guess it's okay that I'm leaving some food and, and, and potions and stuff behind. Let's... 
quickly remove some unnecessarily things and keep moving. And the funniest part is that uh, I absolutely haven't seen any player activity so far. Imagine traveling like, I don't know, six hours into the overworld and seeing absolutely nothing. Not a single netherrack block, not a single griefed village, absolutely nothing. So yeah, it makes me wonder how the world is gonna look like when, for example, I would be in the middle of the map, like, I don't know, 15 millions away or something. I guess there is absolutely nothing changed. And probably the chunks are not even loaded. Which is interesting. Uh, as you can see, another night was spent, this time on a luxury ship. <laughs> and we keep going. Still got to make around 40,000 blocks but we are getting closer and actually I just realized I am not extremely lucky while trying to climb these snowy hills but I have leather boots because as you know since the snow was like sort of updated in Minecraft there is no there is now this, yep, light, light as rabbit, mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm thinking. There is that snow which you can actually sink into and probably fell down like to the caves or something. But if you're wearing the leather boots, then you're fine. And somehow by accident, I do have leather boots on me. So that's cool. Hopefully that's gonna help me to cross it because when I'm usually wearing like the diamond boots or like the netherite, instead I'm simply trying to avoid this biome just to not to fall down to these caves. No, 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 don't. Leave that tree alone. Come on. <sighs> we are now 10k away. <laughs> it is ridiculous taking so much time from me. But I will make it. And probably as soon as I will be like nearby, I will stop recording because I will need to be super focused and not only uh, to get all the items back, but also to not to die because it will send me back in here. 
So yeah, I will have to be quick and precise. <laughs> Let's see. Let's say. But uh, I mean, it's doable. I only need to quickly reach out for my chests, craft myself a bucket, instantaneously fill it up with the water from the nearby source, and then just spill that water inside the well and jump right down to my uh, loot. So it sounds doable. And of course, yeah, I will try to toss everything I currently hold into the empty chest so that I would be able to pick it up all and not lose anything. Moment of truth. Oh my god. Uh, please. <laughs> Finally. And yeah, I do have a lighter, I do have rockets, but I do not want to risk it anymore so up until the night i'm gonna stay idle so that i could set a spawn point because that was ridiculous but well luckily all of my gear and everything i had with me still remained on the floor so nothing is lost Whew. that was a hell of a trouble to be honest i never thought that a simple thing in minecraft as dying would take me so much time there was a whole adventure in the nether Whew. but i think speaking in regards to the nether part i did manage it well I survived, I started trading and did everything I was supposed to, to escape it. So, if only I would not be too scared to stay a bit longer in the nether, probably it would take me way less of a time. But sun is slowly going down, so I should prepare myself for a good sleep and yeah once again thank you so much for watching even though that was something absolutely crazy but i'm still happy i made it alive not in one piece not in the first try but still and i would be happy to see you back in the next episode bye bye everyone